All right, now, your intuition definitely got you here. So, we have the devil, we have the ace of cups. This situation may involve very intense emotion. While there's one person who could be passionate about physical attributes or desires, it also shows an, an individual that is very spiritually connected and is more so about the emotions. Now, the devil card is accompanied by the five of wands. Now, this would say that there could be others. There's a competitive nature or some sort of battle within, okay? Looking for the needle in the haystack, and someone may be doing this by way of, like, their search, I'll just say, is more physical. So, it would include, you know, dating, going out, hanging, the, the person that they may have, like, the most chemistry with, um... I don't think they're necessarily interested in the other options that they may have. It's like they're looking for something. Okay, here's the perfect example. So someone who is single and looking for a relationship and focusing on sales and maybe having like an emotional connection will be here. Someone who isn't settling down but isn't single um, and may go through more partners than this person is here. So it's not to say that they don't want to settle down and they're not looking for a relationship. It's just their approach to um, how it's done, right? So it's kind of like I'm I'm a run through them kind of thing, you know, for lack of a better phrase. Whereas this person could be, like I said, focused on self-love, marriage, or more of a spiritual, like, emotional connection. We have the three of wands, okay? So two elements of fire. Fire is a very passionate energy. It, it definitely involves energy. It doesn't have to be physical, but some actions are usually being taken um, when the wands are present. The two of wands shows, you know, really being optimistic about the situation, seeing the world as your oyster, looking out, waiting for the situation to really just reel itself in. However, there's another wand, so it's like, either taking the actual steps to bring the ships in faster or deciding to turn away and take another path. It's like the road less traveled. This does seem pretty basic and typical of a person who uses the excuse of mingling um, and or hides their emotions by, you know, appearing as someone who doesn't want to settle down and may have others competing for their attention. This person just re may want to take a different approach you know, to relationships, and nothing is wrong with that. Now, see, here we have the Knight of Cups. This individual is definitely interested in following their heart. It's more about chivalry and romance and feelings. They don't have time for the rigmarole. I don't feel like the Knight of Cups is built for whatever action, you know, fast-paced situation that this is. We have the Six of Swords. So this person may also have prior past situations or even financial issues that they're looking to move away from. I do feel that there is spiritual guidance on both ends, but I'm not sure if this one is like really paying attention to that or if the spirits that are guiding you to um, are the same. Like someone could be in it for something third dimensional while the guide is more so it's going to be a little bit more tricky for them, I'll say that, because whatever guidance is happening, it's invisible. They may not even be aware of it, because if they were, I think the ego would interfere. So it works best for whomever their spirit guide is, whatever they believe in. Um, as for this person, it's like a merge with divinity. I feel like it's a connection that this person is guided internally this person is being guided through situations. I feel like external situations that may not be as um, pleasant as these, still guiding someone, possibly even to make their choice and selection. And I say that because if you're running through a situation, physically, desire, attraction, you know, it could even involve taboo things. I'll just say that. Um, eventually you burn yourself out, you get tired, and you may sit down and have this aha moment of, you know, I'm just tired or reflect on the partners that you've had. So it, it may take a, a series of events and wearing yourself out, hopefully not um, in a destructive manner. But the Six of Swords is usually trying to move away to calmer waters. Now, on the flip side, 
this person may have experienced something very toxic in the past, right? And for some of you that chose the cards, this could be you. Unless you're a Capricorn or just focused on, you know, discipline and just staying away from all of the search, right? It just says that moving away to calmer waters and trying to steal the mind says that there may have been some negative thoughts, some negative emotions, probably produced by negative situations that were mostly physical and less emotional, unless there was like an obsessive, very combative person that also was very competitive. So it's like, you won't leave me alone, but it's hard for us to get along. And I just don't want to be bothered with all of that. That is this person. Okay. So now we're going to pull each Oracle card for both stacks. Okay. To get further clarification. We do have female here and you could see a lot of birds for synchronicities. Oh my God. The scissors are here. <laughs> oh, okay. So we have the garden. Someone may be, we got birds, um, trees, and then you have the scissors. So someone may be cutting things out of their life and kind of wanting to move away to calmer waters. That could be how you guys attracted each other. So even though they may have had a more complicated past, I do feel this person is looking to cut something out of their life. Okay. I do like that. Now on the other end, let's see what you have or they feel free to interchange the roles with the Knight of Cups here. We have the seven of wands. So this person is not playing about their emotions or how they feel about relationships in general. The seven of wands really talks to being, you know, standing your ground on a situation. This person is going to follow their emotions and, and do what feels right, even if it isn't what everyone else is doing. So in like modern day society, whatever people are doing within your age group, you know, or outside, this is this person is not doing the outside. Now, this person, I feel like it's, it's kind of like the same thing. It's like, I'm, I'm going to stand, you know, and defend my values or the feelings that I have. This person is like these scissors. It's like needing to cut connections that are like toxic. It's like cutting cords or whatever. So while this person is trying to make a stance and make some sense of the situation, like would even hold on to the situation because they're really emotionally embedded into it. I feel like this person is like, I don't have time for whatever this five of wands energy is. And I'm just going to cut away from it and move. Okay. So that could be like physically moving or just like mentally stealing their mind because there's like a, a needle in a haystack, like I said, type of energy. And I don't know if they're looking for it. Okay. Or if it's just the competitive energy of, dating or you know trying to maintain a relationship or get this person's attention however it may go so we'll take one more for each side to see what we have with the book and i keep saying i keep seeing um woman and books now one thing that i say is um significant the two of wands like i said in this third in this three of wands and i'll take it out so that you can see it better you have ships here okay now in this card, it's the ships that usually are being watched that you can see from a distance in the two of wands. And like I said, with the three of wands, I don't see no water. I don't see no ships. So it seems like someone may be at a split of either walking away and doing what is hard to do, right? And standing their ground on what they want. So it's like, I'm going to go after what I truly want because this situation could be complicated, a little toxic or kind of dark. It also says that I'm finally making a decision or a choice. Okay. So this could be an offer telling someone how you feel with the Knight of Cups and just really pouring it out from the heart. Now, hopefully it's not a destructive energy because the shadow side of the Knight of Cups could be kind of destructive, especially when it comes to someone walking away not necessarily rejecting but if there was any confusion someone finally deciding to do something could upset or irritate a person who invested a lot of emotions into it i'll just say that now the ship is over here with the scissors okay the reason why we may not have seen the ships with the three of wands is because they were over here dealing with this and the scissors says that i'm just gonna cut away and the six of swords i'm gonna move away from any chaos and like steal my mind doesn't mean that this person did anything it's just there's a lot of turbulence over here 
and if there's things that need to be cut out of this person's life or situation to be able to accommodate this especially if they're standing their ground now collectively i do feel that there's a very strong emotional connection there may be very strong sexual desires to the point to where you may feel that it's toxic or a karmic connection but at the same time emotionally or just like really standing up for it um you may even anticipate it being a soulmate connection something that starts off kind of karmic ending up being a very soulmate-ish uh, sort of connection so that is kind of cool I, I do hope that it works out for you guys and it's not the worst right at least emotions are here some sort of desire is here but on one end we want soulmate love spiritual energy and divinity and on the other end there's a little bit of battle and, and turbulence in the water and either they're trying to cut it out of their lives or being cut out you know for not being ready or what someone is looking for in the moment like and subscribe for more videos